when I kind of rejoined last year, there was things, obviously we're very fortunate that we can go and play at lovely golf courses. So when you go to your home golf course, you don't expect that all those features and stuff are there. It's just never going to happen. But you notice some things that you think need to change. Yep. One of the small things, it sounds ridiculous, but the actual flag sticks and the flags were just rubbish. They'd been there for absolutely years. They were dead flimsy, dead light. The actual flags were quite ripped and just torn. It was like, that's just a small thing that's rubbish. Mm. I don't know how much flags and flag sticks cost. It can't be that much. I bet they're surprisingly expensive. Uh, two grand for the whole lot, maybe? Yeah. I need a couple of spur, I you, guess. Yeah, you probably need 20, 22 flags. Well, actually, we need we have more than that because we have a colour system. So we have, I think it's, is it red, yellow, and blue? So if a flag's oh, okay. at the front, it's red. Middle is yellow and back's blue, I think. But you'd only have six of each. That's Oh, yeah, that's true. Because that's, that's how it works. So what typically would happen with that, and you'll, you might notice it now, let's say one day... The, the pin is at the front on the first, yeah. middle on the second, back on the third. What happens then, they just move the flag to the next hole. I get you. Yeah. They'll, the, they'll put the second on the front and yes. move the flag over. Do you get what I mean? I'm with you. Yeah, so, okay, well, whichever way. It can't cost but you still fortune. need 20 flag sticks yes. or so. Yeah, exactly. 80, minimum 18, obviously. Uh, on Friday, I played, and when we got to the first, like, hitting into the first green, we had to stop because Peter, the guy that has, has been at the golf club as the owner for years, he was actually putting new flags in. I was like, oh my God, that's a new flag, an actual flag stick and a flag. We got down to the green and it was a new flag. Wow. And it was like thick. It was heavy. <laughs> it was steel. I had girth to it. <laughs> that's how I had to go on that stupid route. Um, and the actual flag was a new flag, much better quality with the, like this logo on it. And I was like, oh my God, even the cups were new as well. I was in heaven. It's it's ridiculously important. It's such a small change, but I just felt so much more almost proud of the golf course. And but again, it's ridiculous. You remember me back in the day when I, I was obsessed about flags and people used to send them to me. It yeah. does make a massive difference. Well, that's the thing. Like good quality flag that kind of sits nicely, a bit of embroidery. I'm not opposed to a number on a flag. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah I'm not opposed to that. Um, really nice cups. Yeah. I think cups are so important. I'm also a huge fan of painting the inside white. I mean, it takes seconds, but it looks so good. How easy is that? I think it's done originally for TV cameras, so when you're watching the golf, you see the hole easier when the when the put in, obviously. But when golf courses do that, it just adds that little it's, bit of. It's mm, so easy. Yeah. It listen if you are if you have any control over your golf club, i.e., you're a greenkeeper or you're on the council or you're one of the head pros, whatever. Let's give let's give some top tips, and we've got a well, load of so ones. So we well, have. We? So I, in our face- so start starting off, great flags, yeah, sticks, great flags, yeah. of of the golf club. Be proud of it. Really nice cups, like clean, fresh cups. Yes. Get them every year. They can't be expensive. No. Well, and then white paint to go around the inside of the use hole. Use tipex if needed. I mean, that, that's so easy. It's so easy. Well, we asked in our Facebook group. So again, just a quick plug for the Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, what are you doing? Like, don't say I've not got Facebook. That's an excuse. Make a burner account. <laughs> Call it Rick Shields with a different spelling. And, and if you've not got Facebook, you can join us Twitter. We've got Twitter Clubhouse as well. Um, but the Rick Shields Golf Show podcast group on Facebook is a group you can join. And within that, we've asked... What, so I put feature on the podcast as well, I put to start with because that would get people interested. Of course. Uh, and then I explained that I played golf and how those little things made such a big difference. So I said, tell me the tiny things that can make or break a golf course. So right. we don't want good greens, good tees. That's obvious. That yeah. goes without saying. We all kind of de- desire those. But also they're quite, they are also quite hard to do. Well, that's it. You know, and if you're, you've got... Um, Finance restrictions. Exactly. So little things we've gone with. Um, I love this one from James Barton. Ball cleaners. Near every tea box, they help. Yeah. I'm going to raise him one up. I'm a big fan of a ball washer. If your golf club has ball washers, there is no excuse why they shouldn't be soapy. Yeah. I'm a massive advocate of a soapy ball washer. I can't believe I'm saying this on the podcast, but I am. All that would take is every morning a greenkeeper just to so get easy. a little bottle of water, bit in, a tiny little bit of fairy liquid done. So easy. Big thing for me, that. A, a towel hanging off the ball cleaner? I do like that, but as long as, again, the towel's maintained well. Clean. Because we've all got our own crusty. towel. Yeah, just, just that little bit of... Can't be a lot. Yeah. Um, Chris Short Treed has said sand in the bunkers. Now, again, sand can be expensive. I think it's really gone up in the current climate, bizarrely. I've heard people say, oh, dear, sand actually is. But again, if you've got bunkers... Keep them all, keep them consistent. Yeah. If they've not got much sand in, have them all. <laughs> have, sand have all of them terrible. <laughs> this is a good one um, from Joel Shipton. Tea boxes that are level. It may sound surprising, but so many tea boxes on golf courses near me aren't level. Yeah, I, I'll Big be one. honest with you. I've played some really, really, really nice golf courses, and the tea boxes there aren't level. Yeah. I feel like that's a, that's a 
a fundamental thing that can definitely be done through the winter where tees can be leveled. Yeah. Um, nice one from Logan Middle Mass. Rakes in the bunkers. Yeah. Now, again, it can probably get fairly pricey, but every bunker should have yeah. a rake in. And sometimes it'll be like maybe two or three greenside bunkers. There might be one rake for all three. Yeah. Not a fan don't, of that. Don't give people... I mean, people should go out the way to rake them anyway, but don't give golfers the excuse not to rake them. Yeah. Because if... if you think, oh, there's the rake right over there. Yeah, I won't bother. Exactly. But if there's a rake right next to you, there's no excuse. Yeah. I've got this is one of my favourite from Callum Davy, and it's the most simple thing ever, and I relate to it. You ready for this one? Yeah. Bins emptied regularly. Regularly. Well, yeah, I can't yeah. say regular right there. Reg oh my god, I can't say regularly. Often. Often. No, but why can't I say that's this is happening like delusional again. Regularly. Oh my god. What is it? I feel like I can't even, I feel like I need to say the word. Regular. Reg. Reg- Oh my god! Often, often, <laughs> regularly. Oh my god, regularly, regularly. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. I've gone. My head's gone. Um, and then another one. That's, but bins. A lot of golfers don't have bins on the tee. I know this again. It's such a small thing, but a little bin. You finish your monster energy ultra red. Yeah, you've done with it. Yeah, put it in the bin. Easy. You've been on a skin in the bin. Easy. Have you got? Are you looking now? You just, yeah, yeah. I've I got don't some. know if you were. Um, no, I've got some. Go on. Let's hear a couple. Of what you've got there. To be honest, I've not. I've kind of got some of my own a little bit. I'm gonna okay. throw, I throw my own in. When T markers don't line up with the hole. Yes. That's frustrating. So green keepers cut the T and they'll stick the green they'll stick the T's down, but they've not thought to themselves where the actual hole points. Yes. And they just kind of point them in a bit of a random direction. Yeah. And it can really throw you off scent, yeah. really, can't it? Yeah, hundred percent. Another one that is unbelievably easy and really riles me up when I when I when it doesn't happen. You know, on a on a um hole, you'd have a, either a, a post for how the, the whole information, mm-hmm. wouldn't you? Or like one of the like the little gravestones, yeah. right? The, the kind of ceramic yeah, gravestone. Yeah, yeah. Have them clean. Yes. They should they shouldn't be covered in bird poo. They shouldn't be covered in <laughs> dust or grass cuttings. It's so unbelievably simple. Like I, I did work experience actually at the Marriott where we do a lot of filming now when I was a kid. And one of my jobs was to go around with a soapy bucket and literally clean all the tea markers, all the 150 plates in the middle of the fairway. Like I loved it. And it yeah. they look so it's, much again, better. Tiny thing. This is a nice one from Seth at Brookfield. It's a bit more of a pricey one, but again, makes a big difference. A working urge yet to clean your shoes after a yeah. round. I love that. Fan. Yeah. Another big one. Fan. Again, I've not seen this on one of the comments, but when the green keepers cut the fairway, have it where the grass gets picked up. Yes. I don't know. Again, I don't know how expensive that is or whether you need some special machinery, but it's it looks awful when the fairway's been cut and you think, oh, that's perfect. But there's loads of grass cuttings yeah. everywhere. It drives me insane because you're like, well, it, it's gone against the reason of cutting the fairway, really. Yeah. A lot of people are saying about things like bins and ball washers. Like, so many people. It obviously is something that it's one of those weird small things. What's Matt texting me saying? Broken Matt behind the camera is saying a broken tea bucket next to the teas. Okay. Yeah, okay. We can go with that. I like, can, that, that, I like, one, I like that because then you can use it for an iron as well. If you're an iron up a tea girl, a couple of broken teas there, I'll pinch one. You know what What I think is a really good one? And, and again, it, I don't think it'd be expensive. And you get it at really nice golf courses. A little station when you start on the first hole, just like okay. a little plinth, and you open it up and there's a few tea pegs, yeah. a few pencils, dead cheap pitchforks, yeah. you know, ball marker, just so you can open it when you get to the first tee, grab a few tea, and it's, it's there's no money in that. Like, it's so cheap to do. That feels like that would get a little bit pricey though throughout the year. I imagine everybody's I taking. I'm not sure. But it, either it's those, nice, those though. really simple yeah. plastic or those, those really, really cheap pitchforks, which are like tempe or something, yeah. a, a, a green fit. No, yeah, yeah. Like, again, you're not giving anybody an excuse to not repair pitch marks yeah. or do things like that. 